I'm Tim Rees Evans, music director of Only Men Allowed, Only Boys Allowed and Only Kids Allowed. But my career began here at Welsh National Opera. In fact, my love affair with this company began when I was 11 and saw my first opera, The Merry Widow. And from that moment, I was hooked. I've worked here in many different guises, firstly as a singer and then as a chorus master, and I also worked with the youth opera and the community choir. So I've seen all around this company and this is my guide to Welsh National Opera. Opera means different things to different people. Some think it's elitist, some think that it's just long performances that are hard to understand. But to me, to Welsh National Opera and to its audiences, opera is simply one of the best experiences you'll ever have in a theatre. Here are five myths about opera. It's too expensive. Well, in fact, most Welsh National Opera tickets are cheaper than tickets to national sporting events or West End theatres. In fact, some opera tickets are cheaper than a trip to the cinema. You have to dress up. Well, you can certainly dress up if you want to make an occasion of it. That's absolutely fine. But there's no dress code at Welsh National Opera. And if you want to turn up in jeans, t-shirt and trainers, that's fine too. It goes on too long. Well, it's a bit like films, to be honest. Some last an hour and a half, some go on for four hours. But most operas are about the length of an average Hollywood blockbuster. The difference being, with opera, you get intervals. I won't understand it. Well, at every Welsh National Opera performance, you'll get surtitles above the stage. So a bit like a foreign language film, you'll get a translation in English and in Welsh, in our theatres in Wales, telling you exactly what's going on as the action unfolds. It's just not relevant to me. Opera has always been about people and about our stories. It's about loss, friendship, difficult choices and, of course, love. Opera has always been about us and the way we live our lives. So there we are then. As I've said, it doesn't cost a great deal to go to an opera. You can wear whatever you choose and once you're in your seat, you'll be sharing a fantastic theatrical experience with hundreds of other people, all united in their love and passion for opera. So if you do fancy giving opera a try and are wondering what to do next, or if you're unsure about which opera to try first, well why not tweet us at WNO Tweet or email the marketing team and they will be happy to point you in the right direction for you. Or simply pick an opera you like the look of and give it a go.